Okay, uh, we're back from training. It took about three and a half hours to train. Um, here's some of the results. This is an uh, epoch, the first epoch. This is kind of the precision. And then if we go to the last epoch, this is what we got. So it's it's been trained. Like I say, we can look and it produce this um, file. And this has the weights in it and some of the uh, checkpoints. And then uh, if you look at this, this is just shows us what's in that file if you want to click on this. And then uh, the next thing we do is uh, we have to evaluate, evaluate, evaluate the train model. Um, we're not going to do that. If you want to do that, you have to, you know, replace this. You know, and it, and it can evaluate it. So, uh, if you want, when we want to prune it, we're ready to prune it. Now, here's another thing too. Um, I've noticed. Uh, first of all, we got to change this. And then, uh, let's see, it's about it. And I noticed, like, right here, this seems to be the key to getting uh, some good models out of it. Um, and the, 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 right here, the tech that they recommend, 0.01, like, I messed around with it. And that, that's actually, like, a good number right there. So we're going to put that in there. So this basically kind of sets up what we're going to do. So let's see, 10. Oh, and it makes a, uh, another folder for all the stuff to go to. And then here we can look at it like this is the uh, if we want to look at like the results you can see it in uh, you see it made a new folder experiment directory pruned and uh, once we train it again uh, the prune model this one will be full of weights and uh, checkpoints this file right here sorry uh, let's see so now here's another thing so once we got to retrain it um, uh, let's see, we need to go to here. This is the file that it's going to use to retrain. And uh, if you notice, this is the same thing as before. It's not going to be there. It says it can't find it. So we have to go back here to our... Close this out. And we got to modify the retrained one. So right here, retrain. So we're going to duplicate it. And then we're going to rename it. This time I won't forget to break the kitty part. Leave that in there. Uh, rename. And then we'll skid in time. We gotta modify it. So let's see. Like I say, uh, if you, you gotta put JPEG there if you're gonna use JPEGs. Um, let's see. Here, we gotta go modify this to 10. And then we gotta change this to 10 also. It points out our, our, our file, what we're gonna do. And then, like down here, you can, if you want to mess with the epochs, it's down here. 120 epochs, batch size. So, but like I say, the important one is, is this 10 and 10. We save that. Now it should be able to find it. See, it finds it. And then this is where we go to reprove a uh, uh, model again. So we got to change this to 10. Uh, change this to 10. 
and then uh, we'll retrain it. So I'll go ahead, and it's just going to take a couple hours also. So, so uh, uh, once we start, once we start, once I make sure it's training, I will shut it down and come back when we're done. So here we go. So a lot of times I just make sure that uh, uh, see, and if you notice it produced another file, retrained. Where's that at? Right here. So every time it does one of these, it produces a file to, to store uh, what it needs. And we're just like I say, I wanted to make sure once we get get past this part, it's uh, it's on the road to retrain. So anyway, uh, we'll start this back up after it uh, it's retrained. Okay, <clears throat> we're done with our training, our retraining after pruning. Uh, we ran this, this ran about for two and a half hours. And this is our, the precision we got. And these are our classes. We're going to have to make a label text when we transfer it over to the, the Nano. And then it created this uh, this folder right here, retrain. And then uh, we want to evaluate the model. I'm not going to run this. This just tells you how it was. And then uh, our, if you want to visualize interference, you run this. It takes about uh, 20 minutes to run. Um, you got to change this to a 10. And it produces this file right here. And it has all the uh, it, it, images in it. And with the labels. <clears throat> and if we want to go ahead and visualize that, we run this. And then we're going to, uh, uh, let's pick this back here. And we're going to pull some images out and uh, visualize them. And it's, it's going to the... the, the the, the TLT in, infer testing folder and pulling out some images. Uh, these are kind of small. I don't know if you can see it. There's a box there. There's a box there. There's a box around there. There's boxes there. So it's some. Um, now we're going to deploy it. So this is what we want to do. This, this is what we're going to... Uh, this is the the files that we're going to send over to the nano. First of all, we want to change this to 10. Change this to 10. Um, it's going to produce a folder called Ex Experiment DIR Final. And this folder is going to be full of the things that we're going to send to the nano. So let's go ahead and just make sure we got everything. We're going to run that. And you see it's going to produce a folder called Experiment DR Final right there. Where are we at? And this is going to be full of uh, the stuff that's going to the Nano. So it's done, and what happens uh, in this right here is the the ResNet de 10 detector ETLT is in there now, and so uh, this just shows us what's in there. And here we're gonna the the int eight optimization. Um, we're gonna make sure we put a ten there. This will make the calibration file. Okay, so now in this folder, we have two files. We have the, the tensor calibration file and the ETLT file. 
And then, so we want to deploy it. Um, do this. 18, and we need to make that to 10. Um, I do notice, like, uh, sometimes when I, I uh, would build this on some smaller... This data set has like 7,000 images. If uh, you build it on smaller images sets, that uh, you might have to lower the batches on these. I've noticed that. Sometimes it, it, it uh, you know, you have to have enough images to do the batches. But since we got 7,000 images in here, these numbers are default just fine. See, it's doing its thing. Uh, let's see how long this takes. It shouldn't take that long. But anyway, this is the folder that we're going to transfer over to the uh, the Nano. And what we're going to do is, we're, as we, when we transfer it over it, we're going to put in the, um, this right here, this uh, converter tool that's designed for the Nano. And then we'll, we'll actually do the conversion over there to get the, uh, the TRT engine. So this is going to take a little bit of time, so we'll see how long this takes. How many batches of 10? Okay. So that's done. So what it is, it ran all this and it produced uh, the calibration bin. So now the these are the items that we're going to pull over to the the nano. So the next time you see me, we're going to uh, have this all over in the nano. We're going to generate the tensor RT engine. It's basically the same as this, but this is, it's like you say, um, it's best when it's done on the machine that it's going to run on. So uh, that's, for, that's it for now. We'll, uh, we'll move on over to the Nano. I'm going to copy this and put it over in the Nano folder.